to all we are welcoming you to the next session of revealing the hidden and in this session we are going to discuss regarding addictions as we know that addictions are very common in this particular era especially when the covid pandemic has been increased so when we discuss or when we think about addictions we think about drugs alcohol smoking as addictions because this is very much injurious to health but things has gone in such a way that there are more things that we are addicted we are addicted to smartphones maybe because now everything has moved into virtual media there are people addicted to porn and sexual activities there are people addicted to other work places that is work aholic people and there are people are able to do things which they are out of their control they are doing so all these things will be con- come under the term of addiction there are people addicted to other people so we are discussing this umbrella term addiction today and today we have bonafer and giri a friend who is a part of the team to discuss the same Welcome back to revealing the hidden topic. And today we are going to discuss regarding the addictions. Mm. Okay, what is the concept of addiction for you? So thank you first of all for inviting me. Um, for me, addiction means anything that takes away my control from myself, which has the power of which to influence me to such a level that I lose control over my choice. Right. So the moment I lose my conscious control over my choices that for me is addiction yes as you rightly said that and as i told in the introduction this is a substance or a person or a behavior which helps you to go to a higher level of pleasure hmm. either physically or psychologically and it also always want a reward hmm. and the consequences is not even thought about it by the people those who are be in the term of addicts okay so what do you think what what are the experience of these people those who are in any kind of addictions so addictions basically start with a desire it starts with wanting wanting okay. something that you don't have obviously you won't get addicted to something that you already have in plenty right okay. so the mind plays or you know the way how we kind of look at addiction is addiction is anything that you crave for you get it and you you want more of it more and more and there are a few areas that the addiction initially starts to fill up one of them is feeling better uh wanting to do better that is performance pleasure so i think if you if you put it in the few uh ways it would be pleasure it would be performance and it would be you know a kind of uh pleasing to somebody else or like a peer pressure mm-hmm. i think for me addiction would be these three p's pleasure mm-hmm. peer pressure and performance yes very good more than that i would like to add something more that these are the things by the end of the day the addict or the person cannot live without them yes so you already said the craving for it and the person will do anything to get that particular craving yes. it will be affecting the basic need of a person when the drug i mean the substance mm. or the person or the behavior is not available True. that means the person is not able to concentrate on anything except he or she needs that person in the life mm. or he or she needs that substance in the life Correct. more than that we can understand that the self control of a person is mm. gone when you're not getting that person in the life mm. or a substance you always people talk about substance mm. here i'm focusing more on the person because the impact of one person in another person's life is very, very much good. important it acts like a drug in yes. that person's life now the point is the the it 
it can lead to a different level that if i'm an addict i may not be able to respond to a calamity as a normal person is going yeah. to respond so i may lose my response to any kind of scenario or any kind of crisis mm. so i think i i put a little more emphasis. on emphasis on what are the side effects because substance abuse is well known but person abuse mm. or person addiction is not Correct. known or discussed much in public what do you think of bonnie what can be the causes for a person to be an addict so i think the first addiction doesn't sound like an addiction it's more like you feel that like you're in control it actually feels that yes i have control over, over what i'm doing right. and i can pull out any time i want yes and that is actually true but that is only factually true for a certain period of time because the more you do something the more you indulge into something the more you give yourself into something that starts becoming a part of you right. and anything that becomes a part of you slowly and steadily starts taking over you right. so it's a very thin line where it is very difficult to actually acknowledge it and then come out of it because you then become dependent on something that you thought you have control over but now that has taken control over you yes. so an addict does not start to choose to become an addict he chooses to just think that he has control but the moment he lets control over it's at a time when he is not even realizing it that he has lost control over something that he thought he has control now that addict or that person or whatever he's doing into the substance or whatever that starts taking control in such a way that he has he or she then it becomes dependent to a level where consciously and subconsciously they do not know who is in control right. it becomes a part and parcel of their life it becomes such that it starts from you know like a habitual thing then it becomes nature then it becomes an identity right. and that is exactly where we have an addict who started something out of fun something out of trial and error something which became a habit something that became its nature something yeah. that became the idx identity yeah there are different stages actually we can talk and you set all the stages yeah. the thing is first is people experiment out of curiosity people experiment what it is even i have a curiosity how to smoke or how to take drugs so i ask people how did you do that because they directly when an attack i am just asking an addict how you did it so that way they start then peer pressure is another thing if the girls can smoke why can i smoke uh, mm. always that discrimination of the yeah. gender can be seen and the, then they are asking if you are not smoking if you are not drinking what man you are or what woman you are you being in this much metropolitan area you don't you don't drink mm. you don't smoke you are not involved in all these things so this kind of comments of the friends is taken as an insult mm. on the ego then people start taking it up then on social occasion to mm. show off people start doing yeah. and as you said the thin line has really grown to a different level that people cannot come out from that particular problem problem they think they can come out But, but they can. Late. That's too late to come out. By the time the the character what they put it in become a behavior disorder as well as it's a health issue for that particular person. Correct. So I think these are some of the these are some of the reasons a person can go into an addiction. Do you want to add anything yes. more? Yes. Uh, while you were just speaking, you know, thought came into my mind. Something that you start on a trial basis and becomes a takeover. Right. So. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, I don't like. Why? Why do you think that addiction has consequences? Yes, everything has consequences when you involve choices, and that is something that I take forward because choice. We are all surrounded with choices, and each and every choice has a consequence. Mm-hmm. Now, when we start to do something like a. a po- story of a person who is you know starting to for example take alcohol or smoking it initially starts off with just the small whiff of the cigarette or just a small sip of the alcohol glass but slowly and steadily it starts growing the portion starts to grow what happens is that when the when the person starts to enjoy it the person loses or st- stops to think that oh i still have control and when it reaches a point where the person cannot choose for himself that's where the consequences starts to happen see as long as the person was in control the choices were contained 
Mm. But the moment the control was given over, like I said, you know what started with a trial and error thing became a takeover, and that takeover starts to happen in such a way that there is there is kind of a tor- torment, you know, of, for the person that if the person doesn't do what was what he or she is doing. Then it's more like a tormenting thing. That person is uncomfortable. The person you know cannot think. There is brain fog. All of the symptoms, you know, mental symptoms. Sometimes there is only also bodily symptoms where the person is unable to, you know, walk or think and behave or performance endurance, and the person feels left out. The person feels incomplete. Right. Now in such situations, it's a consequence because something that was not originally a part of the person. now becomes an inseparable component of the person mm. and that person has to always you know have like a glass around or like have a have a smoke around or something like that something which was complementary has now become a compulsion mm. and that becomes a consequence because we start to think that okay we have control over it but now we have given control over it and that consequence is placed in such a way that that person wherever he or she goes there's a compulsion to have something that was not a part of his or her life now a compulsory part of it well explain body what i want to speak is if you see the physical uh, the way it is going to affect is that person can get into any kind of cancers lung cancer or any kind of cardiac issues because many kind of addictions mm. more than that person actually what i've seen is i have seen a person before drinking and after drinking it's like the character of the person is completely changed so i understood that once you are addicted to something it is not the real person speaking yeah. or behaving someone else is going to behave so this kind of people crossing the limits and going for a uh, a relationship with prostitutes and coming up with hiv aids is very common and they have a past history of addiction mm. and if you see emotionally this people those who are addicted to all these substances or any kind of behavior they have lot of stress mm. even if we have stress they cannot take a single stress what what a normal person can take so i have seen cases like this they just say that i am in stress i am in stress i just want to have a smoke then only my stress will go down so they have stress and a lot of fear and anxiety what is going to happen what is yeah. going to happen this is the way they are going to respond to us so this is one of the complications i have seen in people with this kind of addiction now the thing i have seen as they have n number of broken relationship mm. they are not able to maintain a relationship by words or by talk they just throw people away from their life and don't expect more than that from them because this is a mm. very common condition what you can see and now the thing what we can see is this addicts as i already said the personality themselves move to different thing but a lot of juvenile delinquency cases if mm. they are under 18 Otherwise, they are murderers or mm, they yeah. they are robbers. And if you see, they are passed uh, passed from an addiction. True. And moreover, not the last, I would like to say that they never be financially rich mm. because they are spending their money just for buying the things what is craving for them. True. So I think by the end of the day, in all physically. emotionally socially you're coming to a zero down level right. when you talk about addictions in a person true true so i think we are done justice to the word of addiction by discussing what are the causes or what are the things a person can come up with and why addiction is a problem for a person and more than one more thing we can understand us society never accept if the person is an addict True. if an addict it's not an occasional drinker or occasional smoker if you are an addict to any of the substance mm. no matter how much you are educated or uneducated people say he is an addict yes. so that is also another tagline that particular person will get hope this uh, video has been effective for you to understand how addiction can affect the life of a person in coming session we are going to discuss how we can prevent or how we can get through or get a breakthrough from this kind of addictions so hope to see you soon in the next week thank you